Let's take a look at how to add some simple texture and rough edges to your animations and motion graphics like I do in my projects. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tipta and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. I've had a couple of people ask me how I add this rough edges and noise effect to my animations that I do in Adobe Animate uh, and also to my motion graphics that I do in After Effects. So this works with anything you want to drop into it. Uh, it's just a single adjustment layer that goes on top of your footage, your animation or your motion graphics and it adds this kind of rough edges, slight noise and if you want to take it a bit further, this kind of textured flickering effect um, on top as well. So we're just going to jump right in with a very simple example today. Um, as you can see here, I just have a normal composition 1920 by 1080 with a solid in the background. On that solid, I just have a gradient, four color gradient effect applied. And there's just a circle on top for us to give us to see something that we're making. Uh, to see the, the um, effect in more detail, I'm just going to add a word here as well, texture, and we'll make that white. So it's nice in contrast between um, our background stuff. And I'll just pop it in the middle of our composition like so. So uh, like I said, all this is with one simple adjustment layer. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer called with control, alt and Y as the shortcut. And then we're going to apply some effects to this as well. If we go to our effects and presets panel, we are first going to add an effect just simply called noise. And you'll find that under the noise and grain um, section there. Drag that on top of your adjustment layer. And if we zoom in, we'll be able to see this a bit more clearly. This just adds a little bit of analog noise or artifacting to your composition. You can see there that it's added a, a number of um, pixelation. Uh, I prefer non-colored noise. You can see here that this, if you look at the white, it's got a little bit of green, a little bit of pink mixed in there. If you turn off colored noise, it'll make all of that gray. And I just prefer the look of that. Now, straight away, you can see that that does add a little bit of texture, uh, especially to big flat white areas or in the background, as you can see those lovely soft gradients. They add a little bit of um, tactileness uh, the second step that I like to do after that, this depends on the techniques that you've got. If you'd like to apply effects to individual layers, you can uh, go to your effects and presets panel and type in roughen edges, like so, and drag that onto your shape. Now, if you zoom in, you'll notice that your shape now has bumpy edges and you can play with these settings. You can see that you can push the edges of your shape to uh, even further extremes. I like to crank the sharpness that I, when I do this all the way up to the top and turn the scale down and that gives you a nice bit of roughness to the edges of your shapes and you can do that to individual layers should you so wish okay again if you crank this all the way up you start to get a little bit of artificial style noise which is lovely as well we don't want it that much we want it maybe about 30 which gives us just a nice even that's a bit too much about 20 just a nice rough and edges to our single shapes so if you don't want to apply that to a single layer, say if you're working with a PNG export from Adobe Animate and you don't have the luxury of applying to individual layers, you can achieve a similar effect by placing a turbulent displace, which you'll find under the distort subsection, uh, onto your adjustment layer, place it after the noise, and you'll notice that your entire composition just starts to look like as if it's rippling underwater. This is because the size of our turbulent displace is very large. It's displacing it over a larger area. If you take your size and type in zero, the minimum it will go to is two, but you'll straight away notice that it's starting to roughen up everything um, a bit more like I showed you in the example. You crank the amount, that will show you how far you can push this effect. So you can actually push it really far, and sometimes that looks quite nice. Or you can do what I do for a 1920 by 1080 composition, which is go to about 35, which gives you some really subtle roughness as if you've drawn it with a, um, a pen rather than a digital straight line. I like to again crank that complexity up to 10, just so you can see the, the extra detail in the edges there. So if I turn that back down to its minimum, and then back up to its maximum of 10. You can see it adds in a lot more detail. And you can also choose between different types of displacement. And I quite like Turbulent Smoother, which gives you a bit more of an even um, distribution across those edges there. The final thing then that I sometimes like to do, usually this is enough for me, but sometimes I also like to add some kind of texture using images as well. So you can see that in my project panel here, I have three images of uh, kind of plastic wrapping and you can just find any textures like this, crumpled paper, plastic, that sort of thing. And I'm going to create a new composition from this. Um, well, one second is fine, actually, um, with 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to call this texture. And inside there, I'm just going to pop my three images. OK, I'm going to go over to frame 10, which is a third of my second. And I'm just going to hold 
Alt and close square bracket with my layers selected to cut them off at 10 frames a piece. And then using open square bracket, I'm going to position them so they are sequential in nature. Every tenth of a second, the picture is going to change. Okay, I think this one's a bit too crunchy, so I'm just going to scale that up and find a slightly smoother section for me to work with. That looks good to me. Back in our main composition, I can then take my uh, texture, wherever I dropped that, which is here, and just drag it on top. Um, I'm going to put it underneath my adjustment layer so that it applies the same noise and turbulent displaced to that. Now, we may not see the details unless you zoom in, but you'll see there that it does affect your um, texture as well. And I'm going to change this mode to perhaps screen or perhaps soft light. <sighs> soft light looks quite nice. Maybe overlay. Maybe let's stick with screen. Screen is good because it lets most of the light through. And I'm going to drop that down to about 30%. And as you can see now, if we play through our um, animation, every single 10 frames is going to switch from one texture to another, which over time can give you a really nice um, sort of animated texture effect, which coupled with the noise and the turbulent displaced edges creates a really nice little subtle animation to an otherwise static image. So you can see that when you apply this to your animated textures, you do get a quite nice effect as it enters the roughened area, which is now on the left here, everywhere on this section, and on the right hand side on this section here, as you can see. So really simple, great way to add texture to anything because it's all based on adjustment layers. So this works on motion graphics, animations, even live footage, although I've not tested it on live footage. That could be quite interesting. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you're wondering where these animations are from, this is a simple MoGraph that I made for these series. But this is an actual little silly animation that I've made for my new channel called Meme Nations, where I upload stupid animations that I make. So go check that out. If you like, there'll be a link in the comments. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you found this useful. I hope the person that asked or the few people that asked for this tutorial have watched it uh, and found it. Thank you. I couldn't find your original comments, but uh, I've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on TipTap, where we're going to dive a little bit into After Effects, I believe, next week. So. Thank you very much. I'll see you then. Massive thank yous to my level two and above members. WN62, Motion Explainer, Maybe Sharma, Ian Costello, Dushant, Singe, Lone Wolf 16, Starry Tichi, Katma, Rob V, Jason Cole Roddy, JK Digital Creations, Da Vinci Goel, MP, Dima Zuev, Vola Furs, Melem Hoover, Ralak M, Tim Fitzgerald, Two Steps to Chill, Josh Colon, Ursula Fermanska, The Sorcier, Lali Lulelo X, and Andrew Hammond. You guys are expansive and fantastic, and I love you all. If you'd like to become a member of the TipTart Zone for exclusive perks and benefits, click that join button below. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.